dearly beloved in Christ, peace and joy. My dear friends, we give thanks and praise to God for another Monday when we share the faith of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. It is growing the faith 2024 with Father January. My name is Father January. My dear friends, growing the faith is a new series by Father January to bring us closer to Scripture, to bring us closer to God, to help us to grow in the faith by doing the very little, little things. Beloved, you do not need to do the extraordinary things to become a saint, to become a holy person, but by doing the very little, little, little small things, we can grow in holiness. We can grow in God. My dear friends, if you did not watch the last episode, Iron Sharpens Iron, you can go to the channel and then look for that video. It will amaze you and it will help you to grow because that is what we are doing this ordinary time. This is Growing the Faith 2024 with Father January. Before we proceed, like this video. Subscribe if you are new on this channel. Don't forget to give us your comment after watching this video and then share, share with others so others also may enjoy the things that we are enjoying on this channel. Dear friends, in this episode, we are going to talk about something very, very, very interesting, something that will help us to, to live our Christian lives. Have you ever seen someone running without anyone chasing him before? Hmm, maybe he's playing football. And so in that case, that person is going after something. But that is not what I'm talking about. Maybe that person is doing exercises, jogging, so he's running. But that is not what I'm talking about here as well. Because these people have a goal, have a purpose, have something in mind. But I'm talking about someone who just begins to run without an aim, without a purpose. He's running and seems to be looking back as if someone is chasing him. But no one, in fact, is chasing him. This is what we find in Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1 has this to say. The wicked man runs away, even when no one is after him. But the virtuous man feels as safe as a lion. The wicked man runs away, even if no one is after him. But the virtuous man feels as safe as a lion. Beloved, these are interesting words from the scripture for us. The wicked man runs away even when no one is after him. But the righteous man is as safe as the lion. Why are you running? Why is the wicked man running? And why is the righteous, the virtuous man as safe as the lion? Who is after the wicked man? Why is the wicked man running? Where is the wicked man running to? By so saying, where is the wicked woman running to? Why is the wicked woman running? Why are you running? Who is after you? Beloved, from the text, it is clear that the wicked man is lying and that is why he cannot stand. The wicked man is untruthful. The wicked man has done something wrong. The wicked man has done something evil. The wicked man has gossiped. The wicked man has done something wrong against the man he's running away from. Hence, when he sees the person, he cannot stand. And so he has to run away. Beloved, why are you running? Why can't you stand face to face with your friend? Why can't you look at your friend's face? Why can't you look at your parent's face? Why can't you look at your husband's face? eye to eye, an eyeball to an eyeball. Why can't you look at your wife's face eyeball to eyeball? Because something is wrong. I don't know what is wrong. I don't want to pray and what is wrong, but definitely means that something is wrong. And that is why the wicked man is running. The wicked woman is running. Husband is running away from the wife because he has done something wrong. Wife is running away from husband because she has done something wrong. 
children are running away from their parents because they have done something wrong. Parents are running away from their children because they have done something wrong. Why are we running? Are you running? I am not talking about physical running, but you are restless. Deep down within you, you are not comfortable with yourself. You cannot stand him because you know the things you have said behind him. You cannot stand her because you know the things you have said about her in her absence, in his absence. And so in the presence of the righteous, the wicked man, the wicked woman is running away. But the righteous person, the virtuous person is as safe as a lion. Are you as safe as a lion? Do you feel safe in the midst of your friends? Can you say that, yes, I am good to my brother, good to my sister, good to my family, good to my parents, because behind them, I do not speak lies about them. Why are you running? Why can't you stand him? Why can't you stand her? Beloved, stop running. Be truthful. Stop running and face your fears. Stop running. Be righteous. Be truthful. Be sincere, be honest with yourself, with your friends, with your loved ones, with everybody. Be sincere to yourself. Stop running and face yourself. Face your friends. Be truthful to them. Beloved, stop running because no one is after you. You are after yourself. You are running away from the shadow. That is not possible. Be as safe as the lion. Thus year, tell yourself, I want to take all these burdens of myself and live life as a Christian. The wicked man runs away even when no one is after him. But the virtuous man, the virtuous woman is as safe as a lion. Beloved, try to be as safe as a lion. Like this video that you have just watched subscribe to this channel give us your comment in the comment section and don't forget to share this video with friends and loved ones that we may grow our faith together with father january thank you very much for making time i will see you again in another episode stay blessed peace and joy